Hey everybody, welcome back to another mystery envelope box slash whatever type of opening. It is uh, finally here. It has only taken a month and a half because when they were originally announced, we were promised that no more waiting. Basically, when we buy the product, the product will be shipped. So, January, when I bought that envelope, it should have shipped. Just like I just paid for February. So February should have shipped. But I'm just now getting January. They said by March it should be on track. So we shall see. But here it is. Our BAM Select. Now this is what they uh, decided to do instead of boxes. Because they were going to shut the whole company down. And see, hey, you know, uh, all of our fans don't want us to shut down. So we're going to keep doing this. And I thought I'd give it a try for maybe a few months to see if it's worth it or if it's going to be garbage and I'm just going to say hey no thanks one thing I didn't like is after you know it was uh, bought and paid for and they were explaining stuff is that um, you not everybody's going to get the same autograph um, you have two options you can get an 8x10 or you can get an 11x14 uh, I do believe so I don't know if the 11 by 14 is going to totally differ from the options of the 8 by 10 or if you have a chance to get you know three different signers at those different sizes but I just don't like the uh, chance of me being like okay two signers I don't have and then I the one I do get I get a signer I may have already had I don't like that that is very uh, nerve wracking like I'd much rather just everybody get the same thing so <laughs> be like, oh man we're all screwed so enough chit chatting I'm going to open this, see if it was worth it. I know on the community there was a guy giving hints out. Uh, like he was making cocktails. I did not look into it. Uh, but they were giving hints out of like, okay, this will come in the anime, this will come in the horror, this will, you know, and he was just making named cocktails. Um, so, whatever. Piece of cardboard. And we have our autograph and it's kind of stuck down here. That's all that's in there too. Nothing else. No little cards saying anything. Or nope, just empty. All right, here we go. Okay, I am happy about this. Like, I, uh, this is something I would want. I'm going to keep. I like it. Um, I don't know what the other options were. But the option I got was Thanksgiving. And you guys know I was a, a big fan of that movie. So that's very cool. I'm just not sure who it is. Um, I like how it's the name. Uh, it's, it's John Carver on it, of course. I don't know if it's the stunt actor or the voice actor or anything like that. I like how they put the the axe out from the name. So that's, that's neat. So give me a minute and I'll look it up. All right. The signer is... Adam McDonald. He was the or Mac McDonald because it's M A C Donald, not M C Donald. <laughs> uh, so it's not son of Donald. It's Mac. Uh, he is the voice of John Carver. So this is a cool autograph compared to. Uh, I did find out what the other ones were. If you guys want to hear them, it was uh, a chance to get a James U. Courtney, which I have. James U. Courtney, and I. Uh, the other one was the the boy that plays uh, in Us. The plays the little boy, and I have two of those autographs. If you've seen the video where I opened the Funko, and that's who signed it, Pluto. Um, right? Yeah, Pluto. Um, this is cool. Happy with it. Only thing I'm not happy about is I still haven't got my refund on the shipping. So. Uh, the select was supposed to be you pay for the select tax and that's it shipping is free well the very first order went out he explained it he was like hey the company we're working with is the old company and they were expecting to pay for shipping we didn't have a program for free shipping so everybody got charged shipping so an extra like 11 or 12 dollars came out on top of what I paid and they're supposed to be going through giving the refunds and that was a month and a half ago and still no refunds and as far as I know the few people I've talked to that did get this still no refunds on their side either so I I wonder if I'm gonna get the money <laughs> I mean I'm not saying they stole it 
And I know that like it's it's out there somewhere. It's just there's very the worst part of Bam, and it's gotten worse. And I guess I'm spoiled because of how good uh, Mintage is and CSR and Zobi is with customer service. That is a big deal. Is customer service. You cannot ignore your customers, delete customers, you know, uh, you know, just criticisms whenever they're like, oh man, I haven't got my autograph yet, what's up with that? Or like ignore their messages. It means something to people if you answer them back, even if it's just like, I'm, we're not sure yet, we're in the process, and just keep people updated. Don't go three or four weeks without saying one word, and then you pop on there being like, well, since everybody's at, yeah, we're asking because we're spending money for a product that should have shipped already. And we're just curious what the uh, you know status of that is, and we would like to know. Uh, don't get mad at us because you're not delivering. All right, uh, it's not our fault. We we wanted the you promised the product. We understood that it was going to be late, and we didn't know how late. It was quite late. And then with the money thing, money is something people take very seriously. It's not nothing to play with or mess around with. So whenever you're saying we did take too much, we're going to get it back to you, we expect it in a timely manner. That's all we're saying. I know it's twelve dollars. Uh, you know you can't even really buy a, a gallon of milk with that anymore. You can, you know maybe two. But that's about the the, the amount of it. Um, I do like the autograph. This was a good job, Bam. Now, if you keep up to, you know, a good standard, and just put it to one signer. Like if I would have got the uh, one of the other two, I would have been upset because it's somebody I already had. I know it would have been a cool get for some people, but uh, you know, I just I would have already had them, and I would have been like, man, this was kind of a waste of money for me. Uh, one more thing, if I could put this out in the community, I am looking for. It's a Kroger brand Mountain Dew, and that's the only place you can find it is Kroger's. With all the Kroger's around me is completely sold out of stock, and I think they're discontinuing it, so there won't be any more in stock. I'm looking for Thrash and Apple Mountain Dew. If you can get a hold of some, let me know in the comments. But if you liked everything, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I really hope to see you guys next time.